Dr. Tim Nickel here at Maximize Chiropractic. Today we're going to talk about me. I was actually involved in an auto accident a few months ago and as a result my spine suffered some injury. The auto accident was a T-bone and unfortunately from that there were some underlying issues. I started to of course have neck pain, spasms, headaches, um, and obviously I wanted to get my spine checked as I see auto accidents affecting the health of others usually farther off in the future. But to start with this, let me go over the history of my x-rays because I live by what I preach and I take yearly wellness x-rays on my x-rays and on my spine to make sure that my spine's improving. So this x-ray was the most recent before the actual accident. And what we're looking for here is here's the jaw, here's the back of the head. We're looking for this C-shaped curve. And I've always prided myself in having a really healthy curve in my neck. And when we look at this, that is why we're always looking is that the purpose of the C-shaped curve is to allow the muscles in the back to be engaged appropriately to keep your head even above your shoulders. And really the true purpose from a wellness stance is that in between these bones resides the spinal cord. And the spinal cord, as we all know, is the brain's communication to the entire body. So that means the organ systems, the muscular systems. So when I look at an auto accident, I'm worried that if I have an injury to my spine and my spine suffers in its health, short term, I'm gonna have symptoms, which in a family like mine, I try not to take medication unless it's a um, life or death situation. And when I look at the actual cause of this, I'm gonna show you where I was. This is now the x-ray. This was before and this was after. So the first thing you can tell is that the spine is completely straight. What you'll see here is that at the back of these bones steps forward. So there is ligament damage in between these two segments. Whereas if you move to the x-ray on the left that is the normal x-ray that I had beforehand, you see that the backs line up properly. When we look at the effects of the auto accident, you can see not only after the accident did I go from about a 35 degree curve to about a zero degree curve. If I had not taken an x-ray and not seen this, it would not allow my chiropractor to know what to do to actually fix the problem. Now what's important is that after an auto accident with whiplash, you injure the ligaments which are the supportive structure for the bones. And as the ligaments are injured, your spine starts to move out of its normal or typical alignment. And thus there is irritation to the muscles, to the nerves, and there is pressure placed on the spinal cord as it's inside those bones. Now, I wanna take you through the treatment plan that was recommended for me and what I typically use for members in my office is I was seen at a frequency of three times a week, and I did so for about a six week period. And then after six weeks, I lowered it down to twice a week, and you kind of get the picture, we lowered and lowered. I wanna show you the difference between after the accident and then my post x-ray. So as you can see here, this x-ray is after the accident, this x-ray is about 24 visits over about a nine week period. The purpose of the post x-ray is to make sure the problem's fixed. Because in the event that I feel great but the problem's still there, obviously we're still gonna wanna pursue some adjustments in a corrective approach. Now that my x-ray is here, now I go back to maintenance care. Meaning that I'm gonna go ahead and maintain the health of those joints regularly. Which regular care to maintain this goes back to what I have been doing for the past 10 years, which is once a week, every week, chiropractic adjustments for wellness. 